Not everything called carbide is something that has value when brought into the scrapyard. And I have a couple examples of this over here. This is called calcium carbide, and it's often used in older lighting and lamp fixtures. You'll see the name carbide on it, but it doesn't have any valuable materials when you bring it to the scrapyard. In fact, it's actually kind of dangerous when you expose it to water because it's gonna create a gas that's highly flammable. I also have some silicone carbide here. Its primary composition is silicone, but there's no tungsten or cobalt in here. It's used for a lot of electronics as an abrasion for hard metals, but again, no value because there's no tungsten or cobalt inside of it. Sometimes you're also gonna have it bonded with nickel and copper, and that's gonna change the name of it, but this is primarily what we're looking at. So let's answer the question on why tungsten carbide pays more than pure tungsten. The biggest reason is supply and demand. There's just a higher market value for tungsten carbide than there is for pure tungsten. And that's because pure tungsten is more of a niche material. You're gonna see it in jewelry and some other electronic components. Whereas tungsten carbide is a lot more common applications such as your drill bits, your cutting inserts, and a lot of different sort of wear parts. Tungsten carbide is also harder, more durable, and more scratch resistant than pure tungsten is. And the other reason tungsten carbide is worth so much is because of the manufacturing process. Like I talked about earlier, tungsten carbide is a mixture of tungsten and cobalt, whereas pure tungsten is just by itself. So when you look at the manufacturing process, it takes more time and effort to create the tungsten carbide than it just does the pure tungsten. And that costs time and money, which makes the value of the material go up. 